everyone, I'm Amy, Amy Rose, and I am here with these fine, lovely ladies. Introduce yourselves, gals. Hi, everyone. My name is Cream the Rabbit, and I am Jewel the Beetle. And today, we will be reading Behold, No Cavities, A Visit to the Dentist by Sarah Wilson. Now, this this book was requested by Cordell Grace. Thank you for your request, Cordell Grace. Now, I read I read another SpongeBob SquarePants book a little while ago with SpongeBob and Jenny. And uh, that that book was really good. So, I have a feeling that this story is really good as well. Well, in that case, are you ready to read, girls? Ready, of course. In that case, Let's get reading. Today is the day. It's finally here, said SpongeBob as he, as he bounded out of bed one morning. Meow, said Gary. That's right, Gary. It's been exactly six months, two hours, and seven minutes since my last dental cleaning. So today, I get it to go again. SpongeBob raced off to brush his teeth extra carefully. Patrick came to visit while Spongebob was still brushing. Spongebob, what's wrong? You're foaming at your mouth. He cried in alarm. Shut the toothpaste, silly, said Spongebob, spinning out the toothpaste and showed Patrick his dazzling smile. I've lost and now I'm brushing with my, with my favorite tooth, toothbrush. Just as I do each and each morning at night. Oh, I always wondered what that thing was, said Patrick, pointing at Spongebob's toothbrush. Spongebob's mouth dropped open. You don't floss or brush your teeth, Patrick? Nope. Oh, or have... Semiannual dentist... Semiannual dental exams? Nuh-uh. Have you ever been to the dentist? What's a dentist? Patrick, old buddy, he said, when he had found his voice. I think, I think you had better, I think you'd better come along with me to see my dentist, Dr. Gill, today. I'll call and make an appointment for you. Will it be crazy? Will it be scary? Patrick asked, clutching onto SpongeBob's outside, outside of the dentist's office. Patrick smiled. No, Patrick, Dr. Gill's office is just the friendliest place in the world. And what's more, I'm their favorite patient. Everyone here knows me. Just watch. He threw open the door. Hello. And who are you, young man? Asked the receptionist. I thought everyone here knew you, whispered Patrick. She must be new, SpongeBob whispered back. SpongeBob, you're here, shrieked a voice. Hi, Debbie, called Spongebob. Debbie is Dr. Gill's hygienist. Hygienist, he told Patrick. She's the person who cleans her teeth. Do I hear Spongebob, called another voice. Hi, Dr. Gill, says Spongebob. Dr. Gill makes sure you don't have any cavities. But if you do, he'll fix them. Just then, Debbie and Dr. Gill burst into the living room. They joined hands with Spongebob and sang their favorite song. I brush and floss my teeth each day to warn away that tooth decay. <laughs> nice singing, Jewel. Yes, very good. Oh, thank you, girls. Thank you so much. Gee, said Patrick, I had no idea getting your teeth cleaning would be that, would be this fun. Oh, Patrick, said Spongebob, you haven't seen anything yet? Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. He pulled Patrick into the hallway and pointed, Behold, the no cavity tree. Wow! Why is it full of teeth that say SpongeBob? asked Patrick. Because you get the name posted up there when you have no cavities at your checkup, SpongeBob replied. I get a new tooth every time I come because I never had a cavity. Time for your cleaning, Spongebob, called Debbie cheerfully. First, let's take a new x-ray. 
Next, Debbie cleaned SpongeBob's teeth. Then she polished his teeth with the bubblegum flavored tooth, tooth polish he, he had chose. Rinsed his teeth and suctioned the water out of his mouth with Mr. Thirsty. SpongeBob giggled. That Mr. Thingy always tickled. Then Mr. Gill had a look. Your teeth look very healthy, he said. We won't know for sure until we see the x-rays, but you certainly are the model dental patient. Thanks, Dr. Gill, said SpongeBob. Now it's time for you to look at my, at my friend Patrick's teeth. He's never been to the dentist before. Patrick got in the chair and opened his mouth. Demi and Dr. Gill looked, took turns peering in. Dr. Gill buzzed the receptionist. Cancel the rest of the appointments today, he said. This will take a while. Some, some hours later, finally Patrick's teeth were clean. We can each go, go out and brand... You can each go pick out a brand new toothbrush now, Debbie said. Follow me, Patrick. I can't wait to see the, what colors they have, cried SpongeBob. Oh, boys, called Dr. Gill. I just learned that the light box we use to review your x-rays needs a new bulb. Why don't you go home and I'll call you both tomorrow with the results of your x-rays. By then, the box will be fixed. And this is where we will stop for part one. Stay tuned for part two of Amy Rose, Cream the Rabbit, and Joel the Beetle saying, Read, Behold, No Cavities, A Visit to the Dentist.